Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to talk about is the 6.5 Grendel, specifically PSA 6.5 Grendel. Reason being is I have long been a huge fan of the 6.5 Grendel just because on the AR platform, ballistically, it's, a, it's about as good as it gets. It, you know, I did a video a long time ago, the, the 6.5 Grendel versus the 308, and in my opinion, it's the closest that we're gonna get to an AR-10 type round, ballistics, on an AR-15 lower. So what I wanted to do was, I've, I've had my JP Supermatch upper for a long time, love it, tack driver, but it's also really expensive. I've been wanting to try one of PSAs, which is about one third the cost, but see how that holds up. So what I've got here is I've got the PSA's uh, 20 inch, 6.5 Grendel, and I'm gonna compare that. We're gonna do a shootout with my JP Supermatch and see how they compare up. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna quick run through uh, specs and tech on the PSA, just so you know we know what we've got. Uh, I might then just tell you what I've got on the JP Supermatch. Okay, so before we start all this, what I need to do is I need to get some rounds down through this PSA because I've had this JP for years. It's been seasoned, barrel's been broken in. So I'm gonna start off with some Wolf. My philosophy is, you know, I'm gonna start off with the, the tough, the hard, and we're gonna clean the barrel, we're gonna season the barrel, see what kind of groups we can get, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so I'm sighting it in at 100 yards using the Wolf. Here was the first few shots, made some adjustments, came down low, and then came up to here. This is 80 rounds of break-in with the Wolf on my PSA. This was the last target. We've got 30 rounds there. When I first started, I had the few flyers, the bump, fire. Yeah, I'm just gonna call that one. You know, at $4.99 a box, I definitely can live with that. I'm really happy actually with that at 100 yards using that lacquer coated wolf. I'm anxious to see what we can do with some quality ammo. Okay, to start off this comparison, what I wanna do is I'm gonna use the exact same lower. This is kind of my my match lower. I've got my old jewel in here with a two, two and a half pound trigger pull. I know it's old and triggers have come a long way, but it is still hands down my favorite trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same lower to try to keep sort of the, the experiment, the playing field even, and then I'm gonna fire five rounds, and then I'm gonna swap uppers fire five more rounds, and then I'm gonna switch ammo. And we're gonna do that until we go through all of this ammo. And then we're gonna compare up, you know, that way different rifles, different twists and stuff like different ammo. This is gonna give us a good comparison. I do have similar optics, um, but they're not exactly the same. I really don't think that that's gonna make much of a difference. So let's just start off. We're gonna start off with the Wolf and fire five rounds. Starting off with the cheap of the cheap as far as the Wolf, and this is through the PSA, not bad. Then we move over to the JP, the Supermatch, using the same Wolf ammo. All right, that wasn't bad. You know, that's initially why I wasn't a huge fan of the Wolf. The, the group it wasn't the greatest, but hey, look what I can do with the Wolf for just plinking, you know, $4.99 a box at 500 yards. Thank you. 
yeah, that that's exactly what I wanted the wolf for. Not for match shooting, not for target shooting and, you know, getting small groups, but just banging on the steel and banging on the steel over there at 500 for 499 a box. That works for me. All right, let's take it up a notch. Let's move up to my Hornady, the bulk pack that I bought and see how these guys compare up. Hey guys, if you like this video, if you follow Beyond Seclusion, help support Beyond Seclusion, it is really easy. All you got to do is go to our webpage, use these links anytime you go to these to buy anything. That helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is our Amazon page. That's a huge one. I've got my crazy stupid deals there, optics, anything that I can find on Amazon, I put there. And if you go in through this link, anything that you purchase on Amazon helps support Beyond Seclusion. The other one is is my Patriot t-shirts and my swag. These are now available on Tandem Cross. Check them out. All this helps support Beyond Seclusion. The easiest way to use the links in the Amazon is simply save them as bookmarks. And anytime you go to Amazon or you go to Cabela's or any of these, just click on that link. And anything that you get helps support Beyond Seclusion. Guys, I couldn't do it without your help. Thank you. Next round, we go to the Hornady, the bulk. Come on, that's not bad. This is the PSA. This is the JP Supermatch. Actually, in that one, the PSA beat the JP. Actually, that got a lot tighter group uh, than I initially had shot. Was really happy with that. I got that at a great price. Even during the whole COVID, I still got it almost at the same cost. Um, what I want to do now is we're going to step up one more level. We're going to go to the Wolf Gold. In the past, this has shot really well. Sub MOA for me. We'll start off with the PSA and go to the JP. Okay, then we move to the Wolf Gold. This is the PSA. We did have a flyer. But we had a really nice group there. There's the PSA. And then here's our JP, kind of a little bit more consistent group. That's pretty much what I expected. The The performance out of it, sometimes I'll get four in a clover leaf, and then other times they'll spread out. But so far, as far as I can see, they are neck and neck, and I'm really not seeing any difference. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go with the Hornady A-Max. This is pretty much match grade ammo. This is good stuff. We should get pretty decent groups out of this. One of those that seemed like a great idea at the time. You know, I'm testing the PSA, so I put a sticker here. Um, I thought the group was going to be down here. But here is the Hornady you can see there's five shots. That is a nice group, guys. And then the JP Supermatch, same thing, though. Nice group. That was nice. Really happy. Again, I'm not seeing much of a difference. These guys are going neck and neck. The last one I have is some Federal Match. I have never shot this before. I don't know what to expect. I've had great luck with Federal. Let's see what it does. Okay, and then the final one is the Federal Match. And I keep looking at this. There's five shots in there. So either there's four there or there's two there. But uh, let's uh, let's just go with four there. <laughs> that is awesome. Then I'll move over to the JP. Same thing, though. I mean, here is four shots, cloverleafed, with a flyer. I'm going to put that on my air, and this is with the JP. Awesome. That is why, folks, I like the 6.5 Grindle. You know, and we're shooting 120 grain, 123 grain bullet out of basically an AR-15 lower with ballistics and foot pounds, you know, out at distance. Similar, okay? Not equal, but similar to like a 308 or a 6.5 Creedmoor. I'm actually going to do a specific video on that, comparing them. And I'm not saying that this is better, 
but on the AR-15 platform, this is about as good as it gets without an AR-10. Now they did come out with a 224 Valkyrie. It's faster, it's flatter, but it's also has a lot less energy. So when we're talking about hunting medium sized game to large game, for me, that takes it out. I'm gonna go with the 6.5 Grendel for hunting anything like deer, hogs, and we'll see how this does at a distance. Anyway, guys, I think the PSA is definitely a thumbs up. It's about one third the cost. I love my JP, you can't go wrong, but you know, take a look at the targets and you decide for yourself. Hopefully you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Till next time, guys, happy shooting and be safe.